Right guys, we got our first older coin tonight. Uh, it was way down deep and all we were getting out of it was uh, mid-high 30s uh, going both directions. And we got ourselves a George Penny. Pretty crusty. That looks like a 1945. All right, on to the next. Well, we just aren't having much luck tonight, but uh, at least we got ourselves a George VI. Only our second one tonight. All right, we'll see you on the next. All right, finally on the board with something older. And that sucker was way down, about seven and a half inches. We got ourselves George V. 1928, pretty decent shape too. Don't know about the other side, it might clean up well though. All right, maybe we're hitting another hot spot. Hopefully so. Well, we had a good signal ringing up 19, 20, 21, but only in one direction. And I've seen that before. So uh, I thought I'd give her a go and uh, look what we got. Looks like it was standing on edge. Nice. Oh yeah, we got ourselves, got ourselves a largey. Sweet. Oh, that's, that's our 15th, our 15th largey now here. That's awesome. Let's clean it up and uh, see who we got. Oh, check that out, guys. We got ourselves a young Vicky. And you know what that means? That means we've got an 1859, most likely. I can't get a year off the other side. Uh, pretty crusty. Uh, but if this was an 1858, that would be like major key date. And that would be so awesome. I think only 30,000 were minted of 1858. But uh, 12 million, I think, were minted of 1859, so. All right. Yeah, they minted so many in 1859 that they didn't need to uh, mint any more till 1876. Wow, that's awesome. I kind of figured something was up because it was so thin. That's awesome stuff. All right, looks like we're in a hot spot. Let's keep on going. Well, one of these hasn't showed up in a few hunts, and she's a bit on the crusty side, but uh, we got ourselves another Indian from this site. I think we're up to eight, eight Indian head pennies here now. Wow, that's pretty crazy. All right, let's keep moving. Um, we're gonna have to wait till we get home to get a year off this thing. I rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and just couldn't get it off there. I don't know, I, I think it's 19 something, but uh, anyway, see you on the next. Wow, check out where this came from. Not even that deep. Just in the corner there, we got ourselves, and this isn't even green, we got ourselves a largey. I believe we got a, what is it? Oh, upside down. Got ourselves a George V. And we got uh, 1912. Oh, that's sweet, look at that the shape that's in man that is crazy didn't even think it was a largey when I pulled it out wasn't even green that's awesome because the other 1912 I've found is so crusty you can barely read it so I finally got a 1912 that's uh, in nice shape oh that's sweet look at that oh look at that how oh so beautiful some of these come out so nice and we're right under the under a tree so the soil tends to stay drier under there and uh, get less corrosion all right I'll see you on the next 
Well, I don't know if we're going to jinx it or not. Uh, we're looking for our 50th silver this year. And uh, I scanned the pile and we got something in there that's ringing up in the high 20s, low 30s. Uh, we've had some modern pennies ring up like that too, so uh, let's uh, see if we can find it. Oh. oh, I see it. And it's not silver. Looks like a modern penny. Of course. Yep. Wow, check out this one. We've got 1940 and it looks just like that large scent. No green, perfect patina. Wow. Pretty awesome. See you on the next. Alright guys, you may wonder what that bright thing in the sky is. Well, uh, the cold has kind of forced us to go daytime now, so we're not going to have many of these left this year, so we're just scouting around some other places, getting a lay of the land before the winter, maybe plan out next year. Uh, we got our first one. Uh, I'm in a spot where we had some fill dumped. I'm looking for those places down in the hot spots. They built some trails looking for the fill that maybe they took out and saw on uh, the aerial photo that they dumped some of them, some stuff here. So just checking out to see. Uh, we got a shallow signal and uh, got ourselves a zincan. Yeah. Oh well. We'll keep going around here and then we'll check out a few other places and see what uh, see what things see how things are. Well, I'm disking out pretty much everything under 19, so uh, this caught my this just actually caught my eye. Get ourselves oh sweet. Get ourselves a toonie. Nice surface find. Beautiful stuff in here. So it'd be the clad steel ones maybe. Yeah. No. No, these would be the mostly nickel kind. So conventional wisdom would say this is a great place to detect where we see lots of lots of root flare on the trees. But in this case, being a hunted out park, this is not where you want to go. I thought I'd swing around it a little bit just to see, but it's pretty much a ghost town for good signals. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna go check out that uh, terraced hill and see what's going on. Oh, I see we got a buddy here who's wanting to become part of the show. All right, we'll see you over at the slope and see what we can find. It's good All right, guys, it's after dark and uh, we finally come up with something good. Uh, I'm getting a little help from a friend who's got his camera phone out here because I hadn't intended on going after dark and uh, this is our 50th of the year. We got ourselves an Eddy dime and we got 1907. Oh guys that is sweet and I was totally not expecting it here. We're in that old beach slope. Um, I was always wondering about where where did all the old stuff go and there's still some of it here so sweet all right guys I think that's it for the the hunt we probably won't be doing too much night hunting now it's getting a little uh, a little too cold and the ground is getting a little bit too crusty all right we'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.